Hey y'all and welcome back to Caitlin's Corner. So we are celebrating Halloween. Are y'all ready? Do you have a pumpkin picked out? Do you have a costume? I'm ready for Halloween. I love Halloween, but I love celebrating it all month long. So we've got a Halloween book for you today. And this is called Trick or Treat in Tennessee. It's a book about Tennessee. How cool is that? All right, so if you're ready, we're going to get started, okay? The full moon's out on Halloween. The sky is starry bright. Above the state of Tennessee appears an eerie light. Do you see that eerie light? It darts behind the scattered clouds. It zips from town to town. It hovers over Johnson City, then slowly heads on down. Uh-oh. What's coming down? A ramp shoots out. A hatch appears. Smoke pours into the air. A chilling alien silhouette gives owls and wolves a scare. It steps out of the thick white fog. Its skin is neon green. This alien is without a doubt. Without a doubt what? The cutest thing I've ever seen. There's that alien. Does that alien look cute to you? All right, so the alien's holding a map. Map of Tennessee. Nashville, Jackson, Murfreesboro. There's just so much to do. And what about Norris Lake? But first, a trip to Memphis Zoo. He pulls out his transporter and waves it in the air. Now in the spot where he just stood, there is nobody there. He poofed away. Where did he poof to? He reappears in Memphis and wanders all around, making sure that he checks off each landmark that he's found. So his list, hmm, his list for Tennessee, top tourist spots, Memphis Zoo, the Parthenon in Nashville, the Discovery Park of America in Union City, Dollywood Pigeon Forge and the Tennessee Aquarium in Chattanooga. Have you been to any of those? They're pretty cool. He zaps to Chattanooga to take a little look, snapping selfies as he goes and posting them to Spacebook. Have you heard of Spacebook? So even aliens take selfies. But where is everybody? Are they staying in tonight? He climbs up high to take a peek and gets a nasty fright. For all around this spooky town, the streets are jammed and heaving. Monsters, monsters everywhere. It's time that he was leaving. He sees all kinds of monsters everywhere. He said he's got to go. I better run, the alien says. I'm not a big bright hero. Oh no, my gizmo doesn't work. The battery gauge reads zero. What's the alien gonna do? They're closing in. There's no escape. He scrunches up his eyes. The monster's all around him, but he gets a big surprise. Uh-oh. He's scared, isn't he? Hey, high five dude, a vampire shouts, great costume, shrieks a goal. A little ghost tugs at his arm and says, I think you're cool. So you don't want to eat me then? The little alien asks. They laugh <laughs> until they're so red faced they must take off their mask. So their costumes, they're not real monsters. Sweet antenna smiles the ghost while giving them a flick. These sh children shriek. What happens next? It's just the coolest trick. The jack-o'-lanterns all take off and float into the sky. Oh wow, they gasp. It looks like you're a real life alien guy. 
Wow, they're cool. This, their surprises say a real life alien guy. The children dance excitedly. They shout, can you do more? The alien shows them lots of tricks as they go door to door. What kind of tricks do you see? These antics impress everyone, which comes in really handy because it means before too long, their bags are filled with candy. Lots and lots of candy. It's getting late. I better go, the alien says at last. I promise I'll come back next year. Tennessee's a blast. They take him to his spaceship and say their sad goodbyes. They wait for him to start it up and zoom into the skies. There goes the alien. He's made his way all through Tennessee and now he's got to go home. But something isn't right because it makes the weirdest sound. The witch points underneath and asks, what is that on the ground? His spaceship has a fuel leak. There's thick goo everywhere. Oh, shucks, he says. It looks like I'm not going anywhere. Uh-oh. He has a fuel leak in his spaceship. That's not good. The werewolf hands out bubblegum and shouts, Come on, guys. Chew. We'll stretch the gum across the hole and stick it down like glue. Wasn't that nice of the werewolf? And so inventive and creative. We'll fill the tank with candy. We've got buckets of the stuff. Throw it in up to the brim. That should be just enough. So they're trying to help the alien get back home and fix his spaceship. The spaceship is now ready. The alien turns the key. The engine roars, the spaceship soars, and zooms off with the wee. Say goodbye to the alien. Bye bye. But now it's diving back to Earth. The children shake with fear. Ah, he's just flying past a wave and say, See you next year. So he came back just to say bye again. Happy Halloween, Tennessee. The end. So I hope you enjoy Trick or Treat Tennessee. This is one of my new favorite books because they have one for every state, which is pretty cool. But we live in Tennessee. I live in Tennessee. But if you have a different state in mind, go check out their books. And this is by Eric James and Carl West. Trick or Treat in Tennessee. Thank y'all for tuning in and happy Halloween. Bye y'all.